1991, the world witnessed a remarkable demonstration of the importance of working together. Operation Desert Storm, a coalition of nations united for a common purpose. Operation Desert Storm emerged from a crisis in Kuwait, where Iraqi forces had invaded. The international community responded with a coalition of many nations, each contributing unique strengths. The United States played a central role in Operation Desert Storm. It provided the largest contingent of troops, including ground forces, naval assets, and air support. The U.S. military's advanced technology, such as precision-guided munitions, was instrumental in achieving military objectives. Additionally, the U.S. provided logistical support, intelligence, and diplomatic leadership within the coalition. The United Kingdom contributed a significant amount, amount of military forces as well, including ground troops, armor divisions, and Royal Air Force assets. British forces were also involved in both ground combat and airstrikes. France provided a substantial contribution to the coalition, including air support, ground forces, and naval assets. The French military played a crucial role in air operations, particularly in the early stages of the conflict. Saudi Arabia allowed the coalition to use its territory as a base for military operations, including the deployment of troops, aircraft, and logistical support. The pro proximity of Saudi Arabia to Kuwait and Iraq made it a critical staging area for the coalition's offensive. Egypt contributed troops to the coalition, and its forces participated in the liberation of Kuwait. Egyptian ground forces played a significant role in the coalition's ground campaign. Kuwait, the nation that had been invaded by Iraq, provided valuable support to the coalition. While the Kuwaiti military had been largely overrun during the initial Iraqi invasion, Kuwaiti forces in exile, along with coalition partners, participated in the liberation of their country. Soldiers served alongside soldiers from different countries. They shared experiences, strategies, and camaraderie. It was truly a global effort. Among the notable examples of this is the story of U.S. Army Captain Paul Decker and his platoon, which included soldiers from several countries including the United States, the United Kingdom, France, and Saudi Arabia. They were tasked with a mission to secure key objectives in Kuwait, and in this case, Al Qajafi. As they advanced through the desert, Captain Deckard's platoon encountered a heavily fortified Iraqi position. The enemy's defensive positions were formidable with trenches, bunkers, and well fortified machine gun nests. In the face of this daunting challenge, the multinational composition of the platoon became a strength. Soldiers from different nations brought their unique skills and experiences to the table. The U.S. soldiers had access to advanced weaponry and equipment, while their British counterparts brought their extensive training in desert warfare. The French soldiers' expertise in urban combat tactics proved invaluable, and the Saudi Arabian soldiers, familiar with the desert terrain, helped guide the group through the challenging desert landscape. Working together seamlessly, the multinational platoon successfully navigated the complex battlefield, coordinating, the, coordinating their efforts and leveraging each other's strengths. They launched a coordinated assault on the Iraqi position, with the Americans providing covering fire and the British providing suppression, with the French soldiers leading the assault and the Saudi soldiers offering crucial knowledge of the terrain. Through their combined efforts, they overwhelmed the Iraqi defenses and secured their objective, and continued to advance towards liberating Kuwait City. This story highlights the effectiveness of a diverse multinational coalition working in harmony under difficult circumstances. Coordinating the movement of troops and supplies across vast deserts was a monumental task. It took meticulous planning and cooperation. To address the immense logistical demands of Operation Desert Storm, a central coordination hub known as Logistics Coordination Center, LogSen, was established. Located in Dharan, Saudi Arabia, 
Large Sand played a crucial role in coordinating the logistics efforts of the coalition. Large Sand was staffed by personnel from multiple countries, including the United States, the United Kingdom, France, and Saudi Arabia, and others. This international team worked together to manage the logistics supply chain. Large Sen was responsible for overseeing the entire logistics supply chain from the arrival of supplies at ports to their distribution to the front lines. This included tracking the movement of supplies, ensuring their security, and managing their distribution. Coordinating transportation was a significant task. Large Sen managed the movement of supplies and equipment by land, sea, and air. This required collaboration from various transportation units from different nations. Maintaining accurate inventory records was crucial. Lodge then used advanced computer systems to track supplies, ammunition, and equipment to ensure that troops had what they needed when they needed it. Effective communication with frontline units was essential. Lodge Sen maintained communication links to receive requests for supplies and to provide updates on the status of deliveries. Diplomacy was as crucial as other military operations. The coalition maintained international support and isolated the aggressor diplomat. In November 1990, the United Nations Security Council passed Resolution 678 which gave Iraq a deadline to withdraw from Kuwait or face military action. The resolution set January 15, 1991 as the deadline. The United States and its coalition partners engaged in intensive diplomatic efforts to build an international coalition against Iraq. Countries such as the United Kingdom, France, Saudi Arabia, and Egypt, and others played key roles in supporting the diplomatic process. Diplomats from various nations engaged in diplomatic outreach to gain support for a coalition stance against Iraq. This involved diplomatic visits, negotiations, and persuasion. Through the Arab League, Arab nations like Saudi Arabia and Egypt were instrumental in building regional consensus against Iraq. The international community exerted diplomatic pressure on Iraq, urging it to comply with UN resolutions and withdraw from Kuwait peacefully. As the deadline approached, diplomatic efforts intensified and the world watched closely for signs of compliance from Iraq. Despite last minute diplomatic initiatives, Iraq did not meet the deadline for withdrawal from Kuwait. This non-compliance with the United Nations resolutions led to the commencement of the military phase of Operation Desert Storm on January 16, 1991. The diplomatic isolation of Iraq coupled with the international consensus and United Nations backing for military action demonstrated the effectiveness of political diplomacy in addressing global conflicts. The efforts to build a united front against Iraq and secure international support played a crucial role in justifying the military intervention and maintaining international legitimacy throughout Operation Desert Storm. Operation Desert Storm wasn't just about strategies. It was also about people working together, forming bonds that transcended borders. In the midst of Operation Desert Storm, Thanksgiving Day was fast approaching, and many soldiers found themselves far from home, in a foreign desert facing the challenges of war. For some, the prospect of celebrating this cherished American holiday seemed bleak. However, a heartwarming story emerged from the midst of the conflict. At a coalition base in Saudi Arabia, troops from various countries, including the United States, the United Kingdom, France, Saudi Arabia, and others were stationed together. Despite their differences in language and culture, they were united by a common mission. As Thanksgiving Day approached, a group of American soldiers decided to organize a Thanksgiving meal to lift the spirits of their fellow troops. They pooled their resources and reached out to their international counterparts for support. Desert Storm's legacy lies in its lessons. It shows that unity can overcome even the most formidable of challenges. As we reflect on Operation Desert Storm, we remember the power of nations setting aside differences for a common goal. In conclusion, Operation Desert Storm stands as a testament to the strength of unity. It reminds us that when nations come together, they can achieve 
the extraordinary. Hey everyone, it's Henry here. Thanks for watching another video. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, and if you guys have like any other video suggestions or topics you think I should do, please comment below with what you think and you know your critique on this video. Um, to learn more about these competitive maxims, check out the, my book, The Ultimate Competitive Wisdom, which is available on Amazon, as you can see on your screen right now. Um, yeah, that's about all for now. Thanks for watching.